Hey guys, so today we're gonna look at this sketchbook. Sketchbook has the very first drawings before I even decided to start this YouTube channel. It also has my first ever Inktober drawings in it. It's 75 pages and I started it in 2014 and didn't fill it completely until last year. So let's look at it. Okay, so this is the front. I have a little hidden SpongeBob sticker under this flap for some reason. So I started this in 2014 and I finished it in 2017. The only reason there's tape here is because I couldn't find this metallic marker to write the end date. Um, and so this first page, I was drawing designs for, uh, my church wanted, like, a back drop thing in chalk on their wall for one of the services, so I drew, I ended up with this one with this lettering inside, I think there's more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I ended up doing this one on the back wall. Um, so that was just a little design thing. Um, and then this is me practicing some faces. I drew this kind of hipster looking girl. Um, and then I did a Spongebob for Christmas Eve it looks like. And then this was like the start of the cat or dog, probably a Shiba Inu. Um, and then I started doing like a uh, little Bible quote kind of art. Because uh, I liked the lettering stuff that I was seeing on Instagram. So I was trying to do that kind of thing. Just messing around. Um, and these are all practice from, uh, I believe the Christopher Hart manga book, how to draw manga, like the big guidebook. So I was practicing from there for that, and I practiced some hands from the same book. Um, and this is just me doodling and making a fun design. Uh, blank page and this practice of figure drawing it looks like over here um, the start of a land before time picture that I never finished I think because it stopped turning out the way I wanted it to um, these are designs for a CD cover um, that I actually designed and Maybe I can find that and show it to you at the end of the video. And this is when I first got some Pro Markers. I got a set of them and I did some swatches here. Uh, random piece of paper and a cat. And before we go past this cat, this lovely cat that I drew out of another Christopher Hart book, I believe. Um, I'm gonna find that CD that I designed that were these designs and stuff. So this is what the CD cover turned out like. I designed the front and the back. So that was pretty fun. I ended up just using like photography anyways um, and then this is also I designed this too the cover the, not the cover the CD top seat whatever top of the CD is called I don't know design that too so yeah that's, that was pretty fun okay so yeah like I said this is again out of another how to draw book um so i didn't like 
make up this character. This character is in a book and I drew from that book. It's not my own creation. Um, this one is Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. It's one of my favorite characters. Um, this is another one where I was trying to take a Bible verse and illustrate it. Um, this is a few of these are when I first started my Instagram account too. So like my Instagram account came before even my YouTube uh, channel. So just a little tidbit fact. Um, and then I can't remember what inspired this. But yeah, I was doing rhinoceros awareness, and my rhinoceros turned out pretty nice looking. This he was 2015, so we're getting a year later from when I started. Um, this is my, I think this is when I first bought my drawing mannequin. Let me get him. This is this guy. I first bought him and started doing drawings with him to get back to figure drawing and stuff. Um, yeah, here I did a shaded version. Um, and then this was actually more CD sketching just to get ideas. Um, to have like a scene dude, I guess. Um, and then more cover art type stuff, and this too was uh, just playing around with different ideas. I think I was practicing perspective and just shading with this page, and then the same with this page to get the flower. Um, here's the start of a drawing of Sylvanas and Murky. I believe I, this was for Deviant Art because Blizzard had been, had put out a contest, um, for Heroes of the Storm. So this was, was this way back when Heroes of the Storm came out probably, or was coming out? That, wow, that was, that was a little long time ago. Um, more design stuff. These, this one I was starting, um, a tattoo design with mountains. Um, yeah, this is. I think, I don't know what this is, so this is more design stuff, I guess, but over here, this girl, um, I still have this video up, I believe, on this channel, uh, I think this was the very first Draw With Jazza contest challenge of the month that I did, and it was like a seasons one. Um, but yeah, that was the rough sketch for that, but, um, I'll try to link the videos, um, that correspond to the sketchbook as much as I can in this video, so you can check them out. Um, so I think this was my, with the how to draw flowers tutorial, I think this was just my rough sketch of what I wanted to do teach or whatever so that well, that's the video old video too um this is uh the very first doodle a day month instagram thing that i did if you don't know what this is go on instagram and do hashtag doodle a day whatever month it is um i'm actually doing it this year for September again, just to kind of prep myself for doing ink drawings next month. Oh, hello, there's a kitty. Okay, kitty interruption. So this is 
one through seven. Did I stop? I think I might have stopped after seven days. Yep, because this is these are my very first Inktober drawings, guys. Look at how bad my people were. Although I did go with the whole you draw things completely in ink and have no pencil to erase and stuff. But yeah, man, it's nice to look back and know that I've improved from this. Um, and I believe this was like one of the first avatars I used on Instagram and stuff because it even has Loverbird and if now you know that like my Twitch and stuff, it, that's my username, that's what my username started as on this channel um and then i changed it to the artful britney because it was more art related um, random marker drawings i think this is supposed to be a fish like a puffer fish guy um here's like a pocahontas for Inktober Day 7. That these had to have been with prompts. Probably. Here's an airplane. Um. Oh, this was. This was the. Um. Monthly challenge for Jazza again. When he did the pet one. And I was drawing my cat. And just rough sketching ideas. Did I? I don't know if I did a video on that. Did I ever finish it? I don't know if I ever actually entered that one. I don't know. Um, and this is a little comic I made. Um, based on a Bible quote that we were, or Bible verse, um, and we were studying in church. Um, that basically like their sheep arguing uh who the whitest looking one is or the most um clean and good but then as soon as it snows they realize they're not really that white at all so yeah that's a little fun comic doodly thing with meaning um these are more animals from, uh, I'm pretty sure, the Cartoon Animals book by Christopher Hart. As you can tell, I really like him for beginning drawings and stuff. And another blank page, and I was drawing, looks like a reindeer in a Christmas sweater. Red Bubble. Uh, username was still Loverbird, and... Redbubble was doing like a quick draw contest. That's what these both are, where it was like you drew in t 10 minutes or 5 minutes or something, a little drawing. And uh, yeah, that's what these are. Uh, I think these are more doodle a day because I wrote prompts next to them. And this is Chi, for those of you who have seen the anime. So now we're into 2016, according to this date down here. But yeah, so I drew Chi because I had just watched that anime. And so I must have been on an anime kick because I drew Cardcaptor Sakura. Um, this, oh, what is her name? It was another anime. Something like e something is a hero. Search with the Y. I don't know. If you know it, comment. If not, I was trying to draw the main character. I'm not that great at drawing anime and manga characters. Uh, I don't know. Where I wasn't then. I might be now. I don't know. Um. Pokemon doodle sketches. Um, this was like my second 
of her avatar. I did kind of like an Inktober sketchy thing. Um, meow. Um, this is another Redbubble quick draw. I, th I think they had prompts and they said koala with this one or something. And so I did a koala with a phone. It says koala me. Get it? And then I did like a better version on this page because I didn't like how that one turned out in the 10 minutes or whatever. So I redid the 10 minute thing. Um, this was a sketch for a still life that actually is still for sale in my Etsy shop if, if you think you want to buy it. Um, but yeah, so this is a still life I did, like a beach still life that I set up in my house just with beach objects and stuff. But yeah, that's the rough sketch for that. And this was another, these two pages were another uh, Jazza challenge of the month sketches. Cats and dragons or something with dragons. But I decided to do a stuffed dragon. Oh, this is when his app first, Jazz's app first came out. And we were, had, like, the challenge of the month was to do, do, like, one of the challenges and, uh, make a finished piece out of it. I think, I don't know, I think I took that video down because I wasn't too happy with what it came out. Um, and then this one was another one where it was for app that you had to create a match here. match between like a pet and a character so I did like a knight and a cat like a pirate pirate looking cat um, and here's some more kitty drawings so these kitty drawings were just my own, like, designing of them. I think this guy turned out really well. I was trying to draw, like, a munchkin cat. He turned out really well, I think. Um, according to this, we're still in 2016. Um, I was practicing hands. I'm pretty sure this was with the Proko video. Yeah, and then this one was another how to draw video um, sketch to figure out how I wanted to teach and stuff. So that video is up here on this channel too. Um, then I think I was just trying to figure out a red bubble sticker or something and I drew this kitty but he never became anything but... He's still a cute little kitty with a bow. Um, this was an unfinished, well, I finished the collab. I had it all digitally drawn and stuff. We were, I was supposed to do a collab with someone, um, taking a Disney character and, um, I can't think of his name either, but if you can think of his name, his films, and mash them together so that's what that was supposed to be um this was for my bump on a log frog who was a bump on a log video these are all the sketches um yeah these are some sketches for that so go check out that video too i tell a story and dra do a drawing with it uh, I was practicing, hey, we're in 2017 now. Um, I was, I'm pretty sure I looked at a magazine and tried to draw this lady's face. So I was trying, trying to practice faces again. I don't like faces. Um, this was design sketch for my 
how to draw love bunnies uh, video for Valentine's Day. So that's um here if you want to check that out too on this channel. Um, this I needed to do a backdrop for a Valentine's Day banquet, so I was I had a lot of designs with that. I ended up going with this one. So this one was what I drew. I don't... I might saw a picture of that somewhere. But yeah. More animals from that uh, frog video. There's some raccoons eating french fries and chips. Um, and this one, I don't, <laughs> apparently it's, um, mom deer teaching their little baby deer to not cross the road. Deer education. There you go. Um, <laughs> and yeah, this was my final design for the Valentine's Banquet thing and I did it with the chalk markers the Versa chalk markers which I have a video like trying them out before I did this and I think I actually have a picture of what this looked like when it was done so if you want to check out that video too this bunny was the bunny I help teach you to draw in like an Easter video. You draw a bunny in a basket. These were concept sketches to create like an over the rainbow bridge uh, painting that I did. Um, that I still have. It wasn't selling in my Etsy so I took it off of my Etsy. But yeah, so that I it pretty much ended up looking like this, um, with more foliage and stuff. But then I had just cats and dogs playing around and stuff. Yeah, this looks like another Jazz's Artie Games that I was just playing around with. It says old lady with a dragon as a pet. So I did like two different designs just to mess around this one she's just like dragging the poor dragon <laughs> um yep these are ugh. um this one was an environment challenge one was it designed for the like legendary armor challenge of the month or whatever it was um, that I was gonna draw Fiona from um, Adventure Time, but then I decided on Ariel and I drew it upside down. But yeah, so I was trying to draw her with armor, and then this would be Cake the cat upgraded. Um, but I didn't go with her, I don't think. I went with Ariel instead which I mean that design turned out nice. yeah this is my aerial that I took to digital and made for that challenge um and then I was making this for the banner for my for this channel my cat um this was an avatar um, self-portrait thing that I took into digital and made of myself. Um, this was my, um, if I were a car in cars video. I made myself a Mini Cooper. Um, this was the design for my painting on glass with the Versa chalk markers video to see if that actually worked and stuff. This was a character design video that 
is also on this channel. As you can see, a lot of these became videos on this channel. Um, this was the sketch for the very beginning of the alphabet challenge videos. The uh, but yeah, him. And then this is the final version. Um, some more sketches. I can't remember what this was for. I know it was for a specific thing, but I can't remember. Um, these are my monster characters that I made uh, for a different character design. I was just trying to come up with a monster character for Halloween. Um, so this is like my Cyclops guy, and then I ended up going with this snake girl. This was my 10 minute or 10 second, 1 minute, 10 minute challenge video where I did Fluttershy. Um, this is what I made for Twitch, uh, to have like a little ID card almost under my live video. And then this is when I got my Blick markers and wanted to swatch them out. And that's it. And there's a bunch of Spongebob stickers at the end. So I hope you enjoyed going through my sketchbook with me. There's a lot that was from videos in the past and like the very beginnings of this channel. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check out some of my old videos. They're not as good a quality and you can kind of see how this channel has grown. Um, which is great, um, but yeah, uh, please give this a thumbs up if you did like it, um, and also if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe for more art stuff, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, bye!